Hey YouTube, I just watched a pretty cool found footage film. Come on in, let me tell you about it. What is up YouTube? It's your boy John. I'm here to talk to you about Hell House LLC. Hell House LLC is a found footage film made in 2015, written and directed by Stephen Cognetti, starring Ryan Jennifer, Alex Taylor, and Paul O'Keefe. This film is about a few people that are in their early to mid-twenties who take over old abandoned buildings and turn them into haunted attractions. In this particular case, it's the Abaddon Hotel in Rockland, New York. This movie's filmed like a documentary showing the crew of this haunted attraction building and coming up with and setting up all of the scares that are uh, strewn throughout the hotel. They have mannequins and clowns and blood and cameras and strobe lights and they're strewn they're all up and down the, the hallways of the hotel. They have them in the restaurant, they have them in the attic, they have them in the basement, the bedrooms. They're all over the house. I really enjoyed the way that this movie was filmed. It actually did look like a documentary. The um, It looked like it was shot on a handheld video camera, which it probably was. The movie just felt right. The conversation seemed natural and just flowed like they weren't scripted. When the people in the movie were arguing, it actually felt like they were really arguing and were really upset and angry with each other. So throughout the setup process and the um, getting everything prepared for opening night of the haunted house, strange occurrences keep happening. You see things moving in backgrounds and you see silhouettes um, every once in a while. You just got a feeling that one of the main characters in the movie was being watched. And in one particular scene, one of them actually is being watched by something. You see something watching him. By the time opening night arrives, a few of our main characters are at each other's throats. They're just pissed at each other. You got people ready to quit and walk away and turn their back on the whole operation. Things get pretty tense. So before opening night, everybody kisses and makes up to a certain degree, and they're able to get opening night uh, moving along as planned and as scheduled. Several people show up. There's a line of people out front waiting to get in. The doors open, and the customers start to go through the haunted house. Once they're in there... Before too long, something goes wrong. Something happens and you start seeing people running in the opposite direction, trying to get out of there. You also see a clown running by. That's another thing I wanted to touch on that was pretty cool. There's one clown in particular that they have set up as a prop in there. He clearly is a mannequin. His head doesn't turn. But this clown, when they keep thinking that they hear things throughout, the, or keep thinking that they're hearing things, throughout the, uh, the, the the setup process, this one clown shows up three or four different times in different locations, and he's not moving. He's not doing anything. He's just standing there looking at him. It's one of the creepiest things you ever see. It's awesome. At one point, one of our main characters notices that that clown and two other clowns are sitting on a floor in a row next to each other, have turned their heads, and they're looking at him. The trouble is that this particular clown cannot turn his head. He's a mannequin that does not... You, he can't be repositioned. So he sees that this clown turned his head. He runs back in to say something to his buddy. When they run back out, his head's no longer turned. He's still looking straight forward. So anyway, enough about the clown. Moving on, after the, the events of this evening take place, and I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to spoil too much. I know I'm probably already giving away too much of this movie. So another documentary crew shows up and they have a meeting with one of the people who were in the house when these occurrences took place. It's the middle of the night. Everybody's tired. They let this girl go back and go to sleep. And once they feel that she's asleep for the evening, they run back over to the hotel where everything, where the tragedy took place, where the haunted house was to see if they can uncover any additional information to see if they can just dig a little deeper to get some more answers. Well, unfortunately for them, they do find something inside of that hotel. All right, cut. That's that. I don't want to spoil this movie for you any more than I already have. I would say watch this movie. Somebody that I work with told me about this. It's on Amazon Prime, so if you have Amazon Prime, just go in there and you can find it. This movie just felt right to me. I thought it, it felt very authentic. The acting didn't feel like acting. The setting was genuinely spooky. The way that it was filmed looked like something that would be filmed in this manner. I thought it was good. Everything about it was good. The only way that I know that you can see this movie for a fact is on Amazon Prime. And I believe you can rent it on YouTube as well. This movie spawned two sequels. Part two is listed as being a Shudder exclusive. 
However, I just saw it a little while ago as being available for rent on YouTube. The third film, I'm not exactly sure where you can get that one yet, but I'm pretty sure that I did see it on Amazon Prime when I was watching the first movie. Uh, the first movie, I noticed that the third movie was there too. So you can watch the first one on Amazon, the third one on Amazon, the second one on Shutter, and on YouTube. So there, all three of them are out there. I'm definitely going to make it a point to watch the other two to see if they're as good as this one was. I'm a fan of the found footage film. I went and saw the Blair Witch Project when it first came out, and that was the first of its kind. That movie was groundbreaking. I bought into the hype. I had to go see this movie and see what everybody was talking about. I love these films. I've seen a countless amount of found footage films ever since then, and this one falls right in line with the rest of them. I think it's every bit as good as just about any found footage film that I've ever seen. It doesn't have the huge studio production about it, but that's kind of what gives it the authentic feel. It doesn't feel like a big movie because it's not a big movie. And something like this doesn't need to be a big movie, and it, it works out just fine. So Hell House LLC, check it out. It's a great movie. I highly recommend it. The link to the trailer is going to be in the comments down below. All right, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like the video, subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to go on this journey with me. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching.